Hi guys, good evening. Today I'm going to show you how to approach a patient with a Cushing's disease or the syndrome. So just if you are suspecting uh, a patient with Cushing's uh, disease or a syndrome, okay? So how we need to approach it? I hope uh, you will like this uh, method. Uh, first we need to do the first test that is uh, low dexa metazone suppression test okay suppression test uh, we give a uh, low dose of uh, dexa metazone uh, dose in the night and uh, we measure in the morning the levels of uh, cortisol uh, dexamethasone is uh, nothing but the uh, cortisol. You know the physiology, how it works. The dexamethasone, what we give, uh, it uh, suppresses the release of CRH from a pituitary and uh, from a hypothalamus, sorry, and uh, also suppresses the ECTA secretion from the pituitary. So by this, the cortisol level should be decreased, right? This is the feedback mechanism as we can see these mechanisms in the FSH, LH, GnRH, right? So now this the patient we clinically we are suspecting the patient with the Cushing's disease or the syndrome. Now the first test what we are going to do is dexamethasone suppression test. In the morning we check the levels of the cortisol. If cortisol level, cortisol level are low. Okay, if the cortisol levels are low, then it's a good sign. You know why? Yeah, because when we give dexamethasone, dexamethasone is nothing but a cortisol. When the dexamethasone is given, it goes and suppresses CRH. This CRH is not stimulated, so no ACTH, no release of cortisol from the adrenals so the level of the cortisol will be low this indicates that the axis is functioning so the patient is not having Cushing's disease or a syndrome right so we know we don't need to worry if the cortisol levels are low so now the point to worry is if it's high if it's high look if it's a high then we need to suspect it can be seen in some other dis non cushing disease or a syndrome like obesity or some psychiatric disorders okay so we need to find out now the next test will be 24 hours 24 hours urine Cortisol level. So guys remember here, so the first test what we did was a low dexamethasone suppression test. If the cortisol levels measured in the morning are low, then it's a good. Okay. If the cortisol level are high, then we need to worry. We need to think either it can be a Cushing's disease or a syndrome or some false positive like obesity and psychiatric disorders so now what we do the next best test is 24 hours urine cortisol level okay this is the second test what we are going to do so now this is the second test so what we do 24 hours if the levels of cortisol in the urine low i mean sorry nil it should be nil right okay if the levels of cortisol in the urine is nil then we ruled out cushions disease or a syndrome okay guys now the point to be worried is if we find high levels 
of cash of cortisol if we find high levels of cortisol in urine guys this is the point we need to worry it is a cushing's disease or a syndrome so the next thing what we need to do is we need to find out what is the where is the location of this cushing's disease it can be either adrenal it can be either in the pituitary or it can be any way like ectopic what you call like lung cancers okay so what is the best next test what we are going to do is high okay high suppression high dexamethasone high dexamethasone suppression test look guys what we did in the first test in the first what we did was low dose suppression test like low dose low dexamethasone suppression test was the first test what we did if it's low then it's confirmed that he doesn't have he or she doesn't have cushing's disease or a syndrome okay then the high dexamethasone test what suppression test what we are going to do this is the test which is going to differentiate the location you know whether it's a uh, pituitary this uh, whether it's located in the pituitary or lungs or in the adrenals so you could see the difference between uh, low dexamethasone suppression test and the high dexamethasone suppression test okay guys now i will go ahead with this dex high dexamethasone suppression test means we are giving high doses of cortisol in the blood right so when this high dose of dexamethasone reaches the pituitary it can suppress it will suppress the release of crh and uh, acth and hence the levels will be low so if it's located i mean uh, region if it's located in pituitary pituitary okay if it's located in pituitary uh, then the levels will levels of cortisol of right so if it's located in the pituitary then the levels of cortisol falls look guys when we gave low dose of dexamethasone suppression test we did not see what you call uh, whether the lesion is located in the pituitary or adrenal or something else so this is the high dexamethasone suppression test which is going to differentiate okay okay if you are suspecting if you are given high dose of dexamethasone suppression and the levels are low or levels of the cortisol has decreased then lesion is in pituitary then do guys what is mr okay mr of the head okay if the levels Uh, unchanged i mean it's still high even after giving high doses of uh what you call uh, cortisol or dexamethasone still the levels of the cortisol in the blood is high then we the lesion ah uh, the lesion ah uh, the lesion can be in um, the lesion can be yes guys it can be in lungs or <coughs> sorry adrenals right so now the next test we need to differentiate whether it's located in the lungs or whether it is in the adrenals so we need to do the next test will be next test is guys any guesses okay the next test is measure measure the levels of a t t h sorry a c t h okay measure the levels of a c t h if a c t h levels are high if the levels if the level of a c t h is high then what does it indicate tell me guys if a c t h level is high then it must be in the 
lungs it's ectopic right yeah it's ectopic means they are not under the control of this axis axis of this uh, ch ACTH and cortisol they are the own bosses okay they are producing this ACTH on their own if ACTH ACTH is low then it is in the adrenal okay so the test was the next test was the ACTH measurement of the ACTH level in the blood if it's high it's ectopic that is the lungs if it's low then it is in the adrenals so if high do CT sorry do CT of chest okay if low do CT of abdomen and look for adrenals okay guys so let me summarize you what is the uh, how did I approach with the patient with the uh, Cushing's uh, disease or syndrome guys if you clinically if you are suspecting the patient uh, might be having Cushing's disease or a Cushing syndrome uh, uh you need to do the first test remember this is i will mark this as a this is the first test low dexamethasone suppression test guys okay this is the low suppression dexamethasone suppression test okay this is the first test okay now the second test if it's a low then it's confirmed no need to do the further testing for the cushing's disease look for some other diseases other than the cushing's disease or syndrome okay if it's high then we need to worry it can be due to the Cushing's disease or the uh, Cushing's syndrome or it can be seen in non-Cushing's disease or a syndrome that is obesity and the psychiatric disorders. So what we need to do is the second test is 24 hours urine cortisol level. Okay. Guys, are you getting me? Okay. Okay. So this is a 24 hours urine cortisol level. If the levels of the cortisol in the urine is nil, normally you know the cortisol level in the urine will not be seen. So if it's nil, then we ruled out it is not a Cushing's disease. It can be obesity, psychiatry, or some some conditions which can cause uh, which can you load the some to suppression is positive. Okay. The third test, if it's a high, then what we need to we need to worry that is. It can be a Cushing's disease or a syndrome. As we know, the Cushing's disease or a syndrome can arise from pituitary, adrenals, or ectopic like lungs. So, we the next test what we do is high dexamethasone suppression test. The high dexamethasone suppression test, what we do, we give high dose of dexamethasone suppress, suppression test, suppression. Then, if it's, the lesion is located in the pituitary, okay. If the lesion is located in, located in the pituitary, then it will suppress the levels of cortisol okay so the cortisol level will fall and then if it falls then do MRI and you can find the lesions in the pituitary if the lesions are in the lungs or adrenals the next test is or if that high dexamethasone suppression test the ACTH is sorry the cortisol levels are high still high even after giving high doses of cortisol it's still high then next test is to measure ACTH level okay if the ACTH levels are high, it is due to the ectopic like lungs. If it's low, then it is in adrenals. Okay. So if it's high, then this is test. So I got right here. So if uh, ACTH is low, then it is in the adrenals. Do CT. Sorry. Uh, if it's uh, high, do the CT of the chest. If it's low, do the CT of the abdomen and look for adrenals. Okay, guys. Thank you. I think uh, I hope you will like this and rate me for this okay thank you